hi everybody this is julissa thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel and thank you so much for listening in the podcast it is monday april the 1st 2024 i'm here to do a quick video as you guys can see i'm look very tired it's been it's been a very long monday but first of all i have to say i really hope everybody had a great restoration weekend great restoration something that happened yesterday and as you guys probably know i came here and spoke to you guys about that over the weekend the president of this country declared that uh, restoration sunday was actually going to be transgender day of peaceability or something like that and i you know they say they always celebrate it like near the end of march this and the other but um like i was mentioning if if this year was going to fall on easter or Restoration Sunday, that, like I like to call it, at least somebody would have changed that and said, wait a second, let's change the date, right? Let's do it the, uh, the Sunday before or anything like that. Because as we know, Easter has not been celebrated like it didn't start last year. It's been going on for a while, right? Um, but anyways, so when you look at things like that, excuse me, you kind of think, okay, so they're definitely, they will never do this to any other religion any other belief they have to do it to people that believe in jesus christ that's just the honest truth right there they would never mess with another day of somebody um or another group of people that follow something else that's what i was saying but here's something that i just learned that over the weekend 200 bibles were torched near a church and the pastor is actually saying that this shows you that christianity in america is definitely under attack and this is something that we need to pay attention to we it's getting crazy guys it's getting crazy we as content creator we have to be so careful we have to have to even say things how we present things and you know we've been saying 2024 is the year of exposure this and the other but Keep in mind also that this is like the enemy just having, you know, like a field day because we know that Jesus is coming back soon. I understand 100% that nobody knows a sad day or hour, but we look at the seasons, we look at things that are happening. You know um, that Jesus' return is coming soon. And people will say, people want to go specifically, this hasn't been built, this has not happened yet. Okay, but even so, you see that the attacks of the enemy are becoming more and more. And not only that, everything's in our faces these days. They're not even trying to hide it anymore. And it's so sad, excuse me. It's so sad because, you know, there's a lot of people right now looking for the truth. A lot of people very concerned with the eclipse that's coming up on April 8th. A lot of misinformation, a lot of concerns, a lot of doomsdays. And I knew, like, I make the beat about the eclipse I don't know, a month ago, because I knew once we get closer and closer to that day, people are going to say, you know, the, you know, the week of darkness, you know, get ready, buy food, buy this, buy the other. And it's just, you know, when you see things like that happening, people getting worried, you rest assured that people are definitely looking to see, hey, maybe that pe the people talking about Jesus Christ, maybe, maybe we should look into that, right? So, you know, the enemy is going to attack Christianity. He's going to attack churches. He's going to attack, you know, so many things like I've been saying before too, like even like seeing the presentations that are being done in, in the pulpit. Do you really think, like I said in my other video, I don't want to make this video too long, but do you really think out of all the Christian artists out there, you have to use a, a worldly song a worldly artist, somebody who's definitely not after Christ, to do a dancing for Easter, for Palm, you know, Palm Sunday, you couldn't pick out of the hundreds and thousands of musicians that dedicate their talent for the Lord. You couldn't pick any of them. You had to pick somebody who's so worldly. And, you know, you have to think about rehearsing. When they're doing a presentation in the church, there's a lot of rehearsing involved. There's a lot of back and forth repetition in this dancing the same music being played out loud in the pulpit where people come and ask for prayer to be free from the 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 you know from the fire in hell in the same pulpit they're using worldly songs that are probably dedicated for the enemy like we need to be careful about stuff like that okay 
So let me just read to you briefly what happened about the 200 Bibles that got burned, right? Pastor Greg Locke declares Christianity is under attack in the United States after 200 Bibles were torched near his church. Pastor Greg Locke of Global Vision Bible Church in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, told members of his flag that the setting of fire of around 200 Bibles in a trailer near his church by an identified suspect on Easter Sunday, out of all days, this is definitely an attack, right? Um, it's proof that Christianity is under attack in the United States. If you think, this is what he said, if you think it's not under attack more than ever before in the United States of America, you have not been paying attention. You need to get out of your head, uh, your head uh, out of the sand and quick being lukewarm. That's another thing that we need to just, like, we need to stop being lukewarm. And here's the thing. Serving in the church every Sunday does not make you on fire for Jesus. That's something that people need to get out also and get a reflection because the more you're so concerned about serving, the less time you have with the Lord. There's a lot of people who do things just out of routine and to make, you know, to to have the, the applause of people, to have the, oh my goodness, she's here every Sunday. Wow, look at her, you know. Are you really doing it for, for the Lord or are you doing it for that? Are you, are you being so busy serving at the Lord that you forgot, you know, serving at the church that you forgot your first love? When was the last time you had communion with the Lord that you you prayed, that you fasted? Or you just want to be serving to be looked on like a good person because now, you know, that's what qualifies somebody who's good in a lot of people's eyes because you see them serving all the time. That's something that, you know, the lukewarm needs to stop nobody. Like, we're not going to fool Jesus, right? You know, you remember, God just reminded me this. I'm sorry, I keep cleaning my nose. That God just reminded me this. He said, in the Bible, he said, well, you know, they come to him and they say, wait, we cast out demons in your name. We did so many things, you know, all the works, right? All the works. We were at the church. We did every play in the church. We did every every worship song. We did all everything in your name. And he's like, I don't even know you. You have to remember, stop being lukewarm, okay? The only person that you're fooling is yourself, okay? Too much availability, to be always scheduled, to serve, doesn't say that you are on fire for the Lord. If anything, probably says the opposite. But God knows everybody's heart. God knows everybody's, you know, way of working, I guess you can say. All I'm saying, remember that verse in the Bible about works. Because that's something else, right? We always want to show what we've done. When, when there, you work for a place and they're like, wait a second, um, you're not doing this right. What do you do? You go back to your history. It's like two years ago, you know, I did so much for you. I did so much over time. I stayed late. I came in early. And they're like, yeah, but uh, we're talking about today. Right, we always, as human beings, it's a human nature. We always want to present the works. We always want to say, "Wait, I did this. I cast out demons. I did this. I invited people. I did all of this." And Jesus, is like, I don't even know you. That's a problem. We need to pay attention to that. And don't think I'm just talking. <laughs> like I'm talking. God is talking to me too. We need to pay attention to verses like that, guys. It's no time whatsoever to be playing around with, with salvation. Okay. So this church, near this church, 200 Bibles were burned. You guys know in 2022, I went to Times Square to do New York Fashion Week and I brought Bibles so that the models can work in a modest way during the runway holding their Bible. Bibles are so important. It's the word of God. Nobody should take or add anything to it. It's the sacred word of the Lord that he gave to us. And this is definitely an attack, definitely an attack, excuse me. I'm getting like I'm speaking too fast. Excuse me, I'm, this is definitely an attack because 200 Bibles were burned in a trailer near this uh, church called the Global Vision Bible Church out of all the names, right? Because you know, there are churches that have different names. This is a church that's called Bible Church. And near the trailer, near the church, 200 Bibles were burned, specifically on Resurrection Sunday. Of course, it's an attack in Christianity. Of course, it's an attack. It's a big message being sent out. 
we need to pay attention to things like this okay um let me see what it says here this is what he actually posted on twitter yesterday sunday resurrection sunday he says this is pastor greg lack from this i forgot the name of the uh, global vision bible church in mount juliet tennessee it says here he this is what he tweeted happy resurrection sunday this morning at 6 a.m our security cameras caught a man dropping off a trailer in the middle of the intercession and blacking the road into our church into our church wow this is a very plan out event that this person was you know definitely over planning and just going to the stream imagine what those people are thinking in their head renting out a trailer full of bibles to drop it to black it, the entrance to a church in the middle of the intercession and blacking the road into our church he then got out and set it on fire an entire trailer full of bibles right in our front right in front of our church there was a lady that had it driven through the night to get to our church and she was in the parking lot was able to uh, to get the police quickly but it was quite the scene to wake up the first morning uh, i guess he was traveling he was in israel he said and he, they had to block the traffic in all directions but they almost finished cleaning up and he said it's gonna be a great day the enemy um is already i don't know why he's i didn't post the whole message here excuse me but you guys kind of get the idea so wow a person okay a person decided to a person here in america decided to wait for resurrection sunday rent a trailer fill it up with 200 bibles and go to this church in black and pre right in the entrance to black the entrance and then set the whole trailer on fire wow this is definitely an attack i really hope this doesn't trigger any upcoming planning attacks we cancel everything in the name of jesus we cancel anything everything i think more than ever we need to get into fasting and prayer it's no no time to play around guys let me know what you guys think about this thank you so much for coming back to my channel and listening in the podcast everybody god bless